Hello, welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we are looking at 27th of May's Fortress of Similitude by Philip Newman. Philip Newman's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ. So am I. My name is Bill Murphy. Uh, you may ask, what's a grown human doing in a fake fur coat at the age of 32? Uh, I'll ask you, if you were 32, why wouldn't you be wearing a fake fur coat? You're welcome. Uh, here at Gas HQ, we set genuinely approachable variant Sudoku. Uh, the, today's puzzle is a little bit on the tough side, but that's via the nature of the variant itself. Um, but uh, you can find the link to this puzzle. It's in the description down below. You can give this puzzle a go before you watch me do it. You don't even have to watch me do it. If you just like the puzzle, you know, props. Um, but you will also find hat times down there. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. Uh, you will also find two versions of today's puzzle. But uh, let's get into that. Oh, and everyone gets a dinosaur if you want it, because uh, we love you all equally. You don't have to have the dinosaur if you don't want, um, you know. Dinosaurs are friends, not, uh, but they are also not just for Christmas. They are for life. Alright, so today's puzzle is Fortress of Similitude. Uh, there is a second version of this puzzle uh, which has no greater than symbols. The greater than symbols are there to remind you, but this is a Fortress Sudoku. So, in regular Sudoku, uh, when we say normal Sudoku rules apply, uh, the digits 1 to 9 must be in each box, each row, and each column. Then. Uh, the thing is, today we have Fortress, so we have some lightly shaded grey squares. Now, in these shaded grey squares, uh, some stuff happens. Uh, digits in grey cells, uh, must be greater than the digits in orthogonally adjacent white cells. So, here, uh, this cell needs to be, uh, yeah, this cell needs to be um, higher than four because uh, it's got a gray cell and a greater than arrow pointing to uh, the four. Um, you do not need to be uh, using the arrows if you don't want. That's that's completely up to you. Um, but you know, we like to uh, let you do this however you so choose. Cool, we should probably get into this. Um, all right, let's get started. Um, so, I'm gonna just point out the middle box. Uh, I love this pattern. Um, we can put a five in there. Uh, so, don't just automatically assume that this must be six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, you don't know that just yet. Uh, but let's, let's do some stuff that we can figure out. So, these cells, need to be less than five. So, uh, and this cell needs to also be less than five. It needs to be less than six, but we already have a five, so it's gotta be less than five. Uh, we have a two in the box, so this must be one, three, and four. Because four is already seen uh, thanks to that, this has to be four. Now, uh, this has to be seven, eight, and nine. You will notice I'm going to aggressively pencil mark today uh just via the nature of this variant so let's have a look over here this is one two and three so we're going to put a two in here uh meaning we can put a nine down here uh because nine oh these three cells have to be less than four because that one's a four that one's a five so we're going to put a nine in here because that's the only spot left for nine in this box we then have six and seven to place uh a six tells us which way around this go but you know common sense would also remind us that seven is a bigger number than six so we can stick them around like that so nine can't go in any of those cells so nine must go here now now, 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 now. Um, this cell needs to be, uh, oh, these, this cell is a three. So it has to have a one and a two that it sees. This one, three pair must contain a one in some way. So this has to be two and that has to be one. Uh, uh, this is one, two, and three. 
I can't do a whole lot with that just yet, but we'll get there. Um, all right. I need to put an eight and a nine. Uh, I need to put an eight and a nine somewhere. Eight can't go there. Nine can't go there. So this has to be four. Why can't eight or nine go there? Well, if I put a nine there, I can't have two digits greater than uh, four, uh, greater than nine in a Sudoku uh because that would be 10 and 11 or bigger yeah, unfortunately i can't put a million in a sudoku just yet give me give me a couple days i'll figure something out if i put eight there i can put nine there but i still run into the same issue so these two digits have to be eight and nine and now the only digit left to place in this row is four now I need to place six and seven, and I'm going to run into the exact same issue here. So if I place the seven there, how do I put two numbers bigger than it in uh, this row or column? Uh, well, I can't because I've got eight and nine there. Uh, so seven can't go in the middle. If I tried to put a six in, oh my God, what's happening? six um i'd run into the same issue i could put a seven there but i couldn't put eight or nine there so six can't go there uh so this is a six seven pair this seven and this six will tell us which way around this goes and now this is one two and three all right let's let's poke around the grid what else have we got going on today um Oh, what are these digits? What are these digits? So, these digits need to be less than five because I have a five and a six, just like that pattern that's, oh, yeah, I'll come back up and do that. Um, no, I'll do that now. I'll do this because this one's going to help us a lot more. So, four and five, uh, I have to have digits bigger than it. Uh, so, uh, I'm sorry, four and five have to be bigger than the uh, digits. So uh, this has to be one, two, and three. One can't go into any of these cells. The, uh, this cell sees the three down here. So this is two, this is one, and this is three, uh, which let us unwind box five, all the tiny digits in there, and all the tiny digits in box six. Let's come down here now. These digits need to be less than five because I have the five and six. This is the recurring pattern throughout this puzzle. So uh, less than five and it can't include a three. So they must be one, two, and four. Conflict checker will show you that this is one, this is two, and this is four. Now this is eight and nine. Uh, ba -ba. That's eight and nine. All right. Now, we can do a lot of the tiny digits in this puzzle. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, where does one go in box nine? Well, one can't be bigger than anything in a Sudoku. So it can't go there. So it must go here. Bring a one there. And we put a one here. And that is the uh, extent of bigger digits for uh, ones in this puzzle. Where does two go? Two either has to be here or here. Uh, two must go up here in box three. And two is not bigger than three, so two must be there. And then finally, the last two in this uh, puzzle will go there. I think I can do most of the threes as well. Yeah, let's put three in box three. Stick it up there. Uh, goes down here. Uh, three can't be in this cell because three would need to be bigger than two numbers. And it is bigger than one, but because two is over here, I can't put three there, so three must go here. And then the last three in the whole puzzle must go here. Uh, that is one of the ways... I do want to actually take a second and mention how to actually think about fortress puzzles and go, uh, at the end of the day, you have to think about we, we're really squeezed on our low numbers and we're really squeezed on our high numbers. So uh, those are the... Uh, so. If you can't kind of crack it in one direction, try the other one. Uh, four and five, let's place in column nine. Five there, four there. Uh, nine, where does nine go? Well, nine can't go in any of those cells. So this is nine and now four and eight. Uh, this nine over here is going to do a lot of damage for us. That's nine, that's eight. 
This is nine. Six, eight left to place in box two. Five and seven to place in box eight. We can do that. Oh, sorry, that's not right. That's nine and seven, but we can still do that. Whew. Um, six and seven left to place in column eight. The six tells us which way around this goes. Uh, we've got a four and a five left to place in row nine. Four up here will get us to that point. Four and five. Nine and eight here. Well, nine is bigger than eight, so we'll put it like that. Seven and eight. Uh, five, six, and seven left to place. Oh, we just have digits that we can place in these rows. Uh, six, eight, five there six and seven left to place uh, well six is less than seven so we're going to go seven and then six and we just have a couple digits left to place this has been fortress of similitude by philip newman clover will be back in a couple of days uh my name is bill murphy it has been my absolute pleasure to record this solve for you uh i will be back tomorrow uh with a solve of a clover puzzle and i will catch you then wherever you are in the world have a fantastic day cheers